Hey, what's up, YouTube? I uh, actually wanted to ask you guys a question. Uh, those of you who may know. Um, when my uncle first gave me this, or my godfather, um, I didn't know anything about, you know, probably shoes or anything like that. Or at least I wasn't that interested, so I never really cared. But it keeps bugging me that the A2000 777 that I have now, the gunmetal, uh, leather feels all way, way different. This one feels more durable, more sturdy, more like leather. The other one feels too soft and just kind of weird. The super skin itself is also different from the ones that I've seen at the store. So, excuse me. I, uh, I wanted to ask you guys a question. I think it's a pro issue. I'm just not sure if it's a pro issue or I've heard some A2000s were just made in Japan. But when I was messing with this glove earlier, <clears throat> I, uh, I love this thing. Um, when I was messing with it earlier, I noticed that it didn't have um, a size on it. Just a 1787. And then here it has, well, nothing. And then I started inspecting the glove. And uh, I saw this. It says Japan and the date code, which is AHN. <clears throat> and then I looked under here. I need a lamp on for this. Um, it says 11 and 3 quarters on the thumb cushion. Not really. There we go. Not really on here on the wrist, but on the thumb cushion, it says 11 and 3 quarters. So I don't know if that's a pro issue or like an older pro issue or if this one which is made in Japan either way it's made with a lot better quality um, leather and I think me personally as a Wilson fan um, they should use this leather more often because it's not like it's A2K leather where they're short supplied it's just really really nice A2000 leather something if they had or they would make it with I think a lot more people would not turn to Wilson, but try Wilson out. So, uh, yeah, it's just what I want to say. And for those of you who actually pay attention, analyze everything in a video, uh, yeah, I haven't taken padding out of here. I never thought to. I got this glove when I had it without it, and I just, it's just so broken in that I just kind of don't need it. Which I don't really use it anymore, so I don't think there's any use or need to take it out but um this is my favorite glove aside from my pro preferred uh catcher's man other than that uh thanks a lot guys just wanted to see if any of you might know uh for those of you who do know and um if there's like mixed comments about it's made in japan and it's a pro issue and this and that i mean i'm just gonna keep it to myself and just not even care because i never really cared before but um yeah that's, that's about it. Alright. Thanks a lot.